Welcome to another episode of Sports Talk. We're joined by McKinney Boyd softball coach, Terrace Need, and McKinney Boyd baseball coach, Brooke Court. Welcome to Sports Talk. Good to have you guys here. Thanks for having us. Now, let's talk a little bit about how last year ended. You had a fabulous season, first place District 10 5A. Uh, you thumped Berkner in the bi-district round. You beat Rowlett in the area round. And in the regional quarterfinal, you lose a, a tough, tough series against uh, Rockwall. I mean, how did that lead you to focus on this year? Did you lose a lot of talent? Would you have a lot of seniors, so you had to rebuild? Or it was, you know, something, let's just mesh it together a little better? I think it definitely um, left a salty wound in our, or a salty taste in our mouth that made us hungry to, you know, get out there again this year. And um, it definitely set an expectation for us to get further than we did. So we're excited about it. And, yes, we did um, lose three seniors, but we have a – very strong group of five seniors that should be able to push through those three spots that we were missing from last year. And last year was your first year, right, mm -hmm. as head coach here. <clears throat> and so that had to be really fulfilling that at least you were able to be successful and get to the playoffs and go a couple rounds deep. Yes, it definitely took a little stress off of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Now, Coach, uh, you finished third in 10-5A with tough district again. Uh, you beat W.T. White in the uh, bi-district round and then lost to regional finalist Rockwall Heath in the area round. So you were going up against good competition. How did that focus you for this year? Well, this year it focused us. We, we got in the weight room all off season and really focused on the physical part of us. And then uh, we're talking about a lot about the mental game. Um, we lost a lot of seniors, uh, 12 seniors from last year's club. But, uh, you know, the young guys that, that played on the JV are going to fill in, and they've been doing well so far. Now, who are some of the key people you're uh, counting on this year? This year, you know, Will Hollis is back. He'll, he'll patrol center field. Uh, Braden Webb, we're going to move him from third to short. Uh, he'll be a junior. Parker Noren, who played JV last year, but he'll come in and, and, uh, and be our left fielder. Those are, those are key um, spots for us, and they'll, they'll fill the batting order, too. Now, Coach Snead, what about you? Who do you have that you're really counting on? The people you've got to have perform. Um, definitely our seniors, like I said. Um, we have Riley Wagner that's going to pitch for us. Um, Bailey Joe Jones is a huge threat offensively. Cassandra Heller is our speed in the outfield. She plays center field for us, along with Carly Nicholas that's in left field. That's some key spots for us. And then our catcher, Molly Stevenson. So we're um, excited about our senior group this year. Now, have you had any scrimmages so far? I know it's really early in the season. You just probably got to be able to scrimmage, have you? Yes, we did. We scrimmaged Tuesday against Rowlett and did really well offensively um, and defensively. Um, we tend to usually start off um, – slow and then progress as we get into season. I tried to tell the girls this year we don't have time for that. So we've actually started off really strong. Um, we scrimmaged McKinney High and Ditton Geyer on Saturday, and I was very proud of the way they looked. Offensively, we just have a few kinks to work out as far as our new girls and our new spots and stuff like that and get used to one another. But. Now, Coach Court, have you had any scrimmages so far really early for baseball? Yeah, we actually start today against Highland Park. We travel down to Highland Park and start, and we're looking forward to it. Now, when, you're, when you set up scrimmages and stuff like this, what is it you're really looking for? Just, just to get guys, or girl, guys and girls playing time, or are you looking for something very specific? You know, we're going to work on base running in this scrimmage. We're going to work on our plays, you know, fielding plays. What are we going to do? I think it varies from each scrimmage. I think you start off and it's kind of broad at the first scrimmage, and then you start honing in on certain things like first and third defense or, or you know, trying to execute five hit and runs during the scrimmage or something like that. But uh, – as we go, it gets more detailed, but today, for me, it's going to be very broad. I just want to see you go out and play, see what you can do. Enough of playing in the indoor athletic facility in the cold weather. So let's get out on the field and actually play against somebody other than ourselves. Yes, sir. We're very excited to get out there, especially with this weather today. Now, Coach, what were you looking for in particular? <coughs> Obviously, you want to see that s the senior leadership. You want mm -hmm. to see them work some of those kinks out. But is there anything in general you're looking for when you're scrimmaging? Um, I think you start out um, looking at the whole package, and then, like he was saying, you pick the things that you need to improve on. Um, <clears throat> for us, it would be like our pitch, selec pitch selection, um, working on our defensive like cutoffs and that whatnot, um, you know, cut down, giving extra bases away. So that's what we're really looking forward to on t tomorrow when we scrimmage. So let's, let's get the fundamentals down. Let's yes. get that right. Yes. And then we'll build. Yes. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you've got your first district game, or I'm sorry, your first real game that counts. Uh, in the standings, uh, February 17th yes. against Rockwall. Yes. And first pitch is 5 p.m. Yes. Uh, and then you'll be in a tournament, uh, South Lake Carroll mm -hmm. tournament, February 26th, 27th, 28th. Now, why that tournament? Um, it's an invite only tournament, and um, he is very good about you know making them very competitive teams or inviting very competitive teams. So it's a very good um, look at where you're going to be in, you know, as far as seeing 
some really good teams where we're going to stand as far as moving on in the district or after district in the playoffs. So for this tournament, the South Lake tournament, you're not really looking to pad the win column. You're looking for competition to right. get your girls better honed for that district. Exactly. Which we'll talk about in a little bit. Is it okay. pretty pretty decent district? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Coach Court, you're starting out against, uh, is it J.J. Pierce? Yes, J.J. Pierce. And uh, that's uh, February 23rd, first pitch 530. Yes. Now, uh, Pierce uh, is traditionally a pretty good program. Is that why you got them on the schedule? You want to get somebody? Yeah, I, I think they're a good program, and they come out and compete against us. And then uh, we get into tournaments the next couple of weekends, and we're going up against really good competition in those tournaments to get us ready for this district. And, and so what, what, what tournaments are those? Uh, we actually host the first two tournaments. The first one is McKinney Boyd Prosper Tournament, and then the, the second one is uh, Collin County Invitational, where we have 20 teams. Actually, it's 18 teams come in and play. It's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of different venues, or all at McKinney Boyd? Uh, it's McKinney Boyd, McKinney High, uh, Prosper, and Allen are the venues. All right. So moving teams around and getting to play a lot of different places, yes, seeing other sir. people. Now, let's talk about this new district. Uh, it's, it's got a lot of talk in every sport, but let's talk about softball and baseball. Uh, you're going to start district play against Allen at home. Mm -hmm. Uh, that'll be March the 3rd, 7 p.m., first pitch. But uh, how does the district shape up for, for softball? I mean, I think it's like, you know, any other sports, it's competitive every single game. Um, there's, there's not one game that you're going to be able to let down. I mean, you've got teams that, you know, seven of our nine that went at least three rounds deep last year. So, I mean, I think every game is very important. It's going to be important to stay healthy and, you know, use our endurance to get all the way through it. Is UIL going to let seven teams go to the playoffs this year from this district? <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just I four mean, still. That is, that's a brutal district, it's you very, know, that yes. went that deep, seven teams. What about you, Coach? What about you? I'm the same. It's this district. There's no easy victories. Um, you know, we got the state champion from last year. We got two regional finalists. I think we got two regional semifinalists from last year. So it's, it's definitely a very tough district, but we're looking forward to it and going out and competing in it. Well, and the nice thing, as we were talking a minute ago, the nice thing about this district is you come out of this district, you make the playoffs, you're battle tested. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. you, you can easily go to your kids and say, you can play with anybody yes. because you have. <laughs> you yes. know, and that's something tangible for them. That's, that's great for their confidence, you hope. All right, well, that was McKinney Boyd softball with Coach Terrace Need and McKinney Boyd baseball with Coach Brooke Court.